A brutal dog attack on the Sun Coast leaves a woman without her beloved best friend, as CNN's Jessica Ward reports. Oh no, this, this was, was not. This, this was, was not. A killing by wild animals. This was a killing that happened so fast. On Memorial Day around 6 p.m., Lynn Finnegan says she was walking her dog, a Yorkie poo named Bridie, when she says two dogs belonging to a neighbor jumped from this gate into this creek and killed and ate Bridie. They just feasted on her. In the meantime, I'm pulling the leash, trying to get her away from them, thinking she might still be somewhat alive. And I pulled and they pulled the dog away from me and I fell. Because she fell, she had no choice but to watch the death of her dog. The images of that evening, the last time Lynn Finnegan would see Bridie, are branded in Lynn's mind. They ripped her apart. There, there was blood, there was sinew. You looked at these two dogs, their in, entire muzzles and mouth were just dripping blood and, and parts of Bridie. In the meantime, her eyes were just looking at me like, help mom, help. She couldn't help, she couldn't move. The events did not stop there. The firemen arrived, the fire truck came, and I'm still screaming, help me, help me. And they're leaning out their window and they're saying, well, come over here, come over here. We can help you if you come over here. And I kept screaming back to them, I can't get up, I can't get up. Lynn Finnegan says both dogs she says killed her dog were German Shepherd and Pitbull mix. Part German Shepherds can be just as dangerous, just as dangerous. Um, we all know about pit bulls. And you know, it's not the dog so much, it's the way it's raised and the owners. She says the owner of the dogs, her neighbor on the other side of the fence, has yet to apologize. If he owns those dogs, it's his responsibility to do something about his possessions. SNN has contacted the sheriff's office for more information, and we are waiting for a response. Reporting in Sarasota, I'm Jessica Ward, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. Lynn and her neighbors tell us and the dogs that attacked hers have been taken from their owner for not having updated rabies shots.